Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me, for I am meek and humble of heart. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today is the feast day of St. Lawrence Castilian. It is also First Friday. A wonderful children to be beginning our school year, one of our first days after having invoked uh, the great saint Pius X, the hope of modern times, who is a wonderful saint, and then the Holy Ghost to inspire all of us. Why then, today it is the Sacred Heart to whom we turn. Children, there are many lessons that you will be learning during this school year, which is only now just begun. But, even if you are the best of students, as I'm sure you have all resolved to be, and also the very best of Christians, as I'm sure you try to be all year round, none of this will do you any good unless you learn from the Sacred Heart. Every first Friday, we go to his classroom, and he is our teacher. And our Lord, in order so that we always will be paying attention, uses always fresh examples. And he tells us the story today of the saint whom the Holy Ghost put on the calendar, St. Lawrence Justinian. But really, every saint, all year round, teaches the same lesson that we love to learn on first Friday. That is to say, learn of me, the Sacred Heart says, pointing to his heart. I am meek and humble of heart. Would it do us any good then to get all A's? Nor would it do us much good to uh, be very regular with all of our prayers and, and avoid sin and all of the rest? Well, that's also, and first of all, we learn the lesson of the Sacred Heart. We need to get an A in this class, most of all children. The lesson of being meek and humble of heart. Not proud, but humble and meek of heart. This way we can avoid the devil's attention and the force of his temptation. This way we can become saints and save our souls. St. Lawrence Justinian. I'm thinking of him today, children, as there's this picture right there. I'm thinking of him today as the saint of... Well, he's the saint who bit his tongue. Did you bite your tongue? That is quite painful if you bite your tongue. Sometimes we do that because we're... So not paying attention, maybe or if you're eating too quickly, you might bite your tongue. And in the South, as an expression of surprise, they'll say, well, bite my tongue. That means saying that they're really quite surprised about something, and they, that's how they bit their tongue accidentally. Our saint today became a saint and learned the lesson of the Sacred Heart in no small measure because he bit his tongue. He was from a very noble and a very wealthy family in 15th century Venice, which was a really up-and-coming country, very powerful at that time. And his, his father died when he was very little, and his mother was a widow. And she did everything she could to train all of her children in loving God and saving their souls. From the very time that he was a baby, he realized he was only made by God to serve him, that's our catechism, isn't it? To know, love, and serve Almighty God, so that he could live eternally with them in heaven. And he never forgot this. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm in school. That's why I'm on earth. I'm here to serve God so that one day I can reign with him in heaven. And so all of his thoughts and all of his words, he governed and ruled over so as to be like the Sacred Heart, meek and humble of heart. Uh, when he was um, he was a boy, he wanted to be a priest, and he received a call from God to join a very strict religious order. And he joined it, and uh, he practiced many, many sins. For example, he never ate outside at mealtime. He wouldn't even drink any water when he got very, very thirsty outside at mealtime. And in those days, children, during the winter, they usually only had one uh, place to get warm, uh, there, was, there wasn't central heating, anything like that. There was only one fireplace, and if you got very, very cold, you'd go there and you'd warm yourself up a little bit. He never did that. Those were met, some of the many, many sacrifices that young St. Lawrence offered up, whereby he was able to become very holy. But this wasn't the greatest of his glory. The greatest of his glories was this, children. 
He conquered himself. All the saints do that. That is to say, he had one terrible temptation when he was a monk or and then when he became a seminarian. It was this. If somebody accused him of something which wasn't quite right, he wanted to set the record straight and say, well, no, you see, it wasn't exactly this way. Don't we all do that all the time in the classroom or at home and when we're young and when we're old? We get very upset if someone accuses us of something and we say, I didn't do it, or no, it's, just, it's not quite, let me explain it to you. But when we do that, children, we lose all of the advantage of being meek and humble of heart. And we get a big old F in red circled on our exam paper from the Sacred Heart because we failed the test. Because our Lord wants us to be meek and humble. So this is where the biting of the tongue comes in. When he was tempted to stick up for himself and to excuse himself, he bite his tongue. Imagine that. I guess it's not so bad to bite your tongue because they say that um, it heals very quickly. But he bit his tongue until he taught himself the lesson. Be humble like the Sacred Heart. Usually, children, when we get accused of something, we are at fault, aren't we? And even if maybe it's not exactly as somebody else says, it wouldn't kill us, would it? If we just kept our mouth shut and offered it up to the Sacred Heart, to our Blessed Mother? Well, of course not. We could do that. We probably could. And then, maybe pretty soon, when we were tempted also to be angry or lose our temper, or when we were tempted to say something unkind or cruel, which are all ways of being not like the sacred heart, and not being meek if we do that, those things, we could bite our tongue then too. Children, let's start off our new school year and our new series of the nine first Fridays of the sacred heart, whereby we offer our Holy Communion in reparation for our sins and the sins of others to the sacred heart. Let's start off by biting our tongue. Let's make that good resolution. I'm not going to say anything that's going to make me fail the most important class of all, the class of the Sacred Heart, to be me. Later on, our saint became a very important bishop. He was the Patriarch of Venice. And he made many wise, just, and holy laws and was all the time helping out poor people, for example, and doing other wonderful and devout things. But he wasn't always popular. One time he had to make a law, back then bishops could do that, against um, uh, theater productions that were immodest. It's a bit like television, so most of the television is immodest and gives you bad ideas and temptations. And, and many Catholics think, well, we can still sort of have it around and listen to it anyway. And um, sometimes it's, it's a very wicked thing. So it would sort of be the equivalent of St. Lawrence coming in and saying, you're not allowed to have TV anymore. Well, of course, as you can imagine, it made him extremely unpopular. At one time, when he was walking down the street, mind you, he was a very important bishop, somebody came up to him and said, you old hypocrite, and accused him of all sorts of things falsely. What do you think he did? He bit his tongue. He didn't say a word. He didn't even show that he was upset. He just kept on walking quietly down the street. Because when he was young, he learned the lesson. And when he was old, he still was practicing it. He had never forgotten it. This would be a good lesson for us with which to start our year, children. Thank God that every first Friday we have a class with the Sacred Heart. Let's learn that lesson now and try to put it into practice all year long. Will you remember it? Well, bite my tongue. Say that to yourself. And instead of getting angry, Smile to yourself. By my tongue, I'm just not going to say anything this time. And the Sacred Heart, my children, will look upon you with favor and will give you a beautiful A on the most important paper that you'd have to do all year long. God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.